There are two ways of assessing skewness and kurtosis. We can use equations, which we type into the Excel spreadsheet, or we can use the data analysis tab. First, let's use the manual method. You should all know how formula work by now. Work out the skewness using the formula equals skew, as follows, equals skew, double click, highlight all the data, close the brackets, and enter. This give us, gives us a negative value of minus 0.7. Now let's work this out for kurtosis using equals kurt, again using all the raw data. This gives us a value of minus 1.3. If you know that the following equation is used to calculate kurtosis, the sum of open brackets x minus x bar close brackets to the 4 divided by ns to the 4 and that we then take away 3 from the result of that, answer the following questions and add values where appropriate. What is the calculated value for skewness? What does this tell us about its distribution? And what is the calculated value for kurtosis? And what does this tell us about the distribution? Now, the same, in the same way as last week, run the descriptive statistics section of the data analysis tab. Let's check if the results are the same. Data, data analysis, descriptive statistics. Make sure all the correct data is selected. Let's output the range to L2 and we want them to make sure that summary statistics is selected click OK and here we have a range of our statistical measures with our kurtosis and skewness which reassuringly are the same values as above